Welcome to another episode, which is our first live episode of Power Alphas. I'm one of your co-hosts, Savvy Piscatelli. And as always, I got my beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous, beautiful oh. fiance, Amanda Sacramento. How you doing today, baby? I'm doing great. We're super excited for today. Lots of things to talk about. We are live streaming right now on it. IG as well as TikTok. So um, we're excited. Everyone that's watching right now on our live feed, please don't forget to head over to our YouTube channel where you can see all of our um, episodes leading up till now. And um, make sure you like and subscribe and give us your questions and comments. We love to hear what um, you guys want to see more and hear more of. So absolutely. Without further ado, um, WrestleMania 40. How amazing was wow. uh, was that WrestleMania? What a weekend. What do you think? I mean, wow, it's, uh, you know, just to see how dedicated these fans are for two nights in a row. Well, really, oh, really? three nights, and then tonight's Raw. But just to see Four, how much Smackdown. people love their wrestling. And mm -hmm. WrestleMania is like the Super Bowl of, uh, you know, for WWE, and it's one of them, the biggest events. And uh, I cannot wait to dive into what we saw. I can't wait to dive in to... WrestleMania, but I'm gonna start this out because I wanna say one thing and oh boy. I'm excited to address this because it inspires me, it motivates me, and it just shows what hard work and dedication is all about. The Rock. Mm. Let's go there for a second. I wanna boss. talk about The Rock at 51 years old. He'll be 52 in like three weeks. And I gotta say, physically this man looked Un fucking believable. Forget my excuse my language, but <laughs> I had to say it. He really did. He looked unreal. And I know what people are gonna say. I know what the haters are gonna talk about. Oh, he's on this, he's on that. Hey guys, of course he's on probably the best TRT. Of course he's on the best HGH. Of course he might be taking a great peptide. But let me make something very, very, very clear right now. When I see a man in that kind of shape at 51, it tells me one thing. Consistency, hard work, dedication for 30 years straight. I don't care what cycle people want to do. I don't care what regimen you think you could be on. You cannot look like that, okay, and think you can go on a cycle for eight weeks or 16 weeks and look like a, like a human uh, freak. So for me, like, I don't know why. I just I, I'm, I get passionate talking about this because – the Rock is probably the hardest working man I've ever met, one of I've ever seen, and I think he needs to really get the recognition today because, I mean, by far, physically, he was the best looking WWE superstar that I saw the whole weekend. And I mean, it wasn't even close. Yeah. And that just shows me the dedication of his work ethic, right? Yes. And I think I, he deserves his flowers regardless. 100%. Uh, physical appearance, um, his performance obviously hasn't gotten in a ring in how many years? Um, you know, didn't look like nope. he ever left. Nope. Um, and I, I agree with you, the consistency, the hard work, you can't take that away from someone. Um, I mean, he's just, I mean, he's just, his presence alone, like when he Absolutely. comes down that ramp, it's like, I don't know. Like, uh, it's just but you know, it was very also, hard to top. What it was also awesome to see, you know, we've seen The Rock come back for like a, you know, a one and done, you know, mm -hmm. a special appearance. You do something on the mic, you, you know, you give someone the rock bottom. But he's 51, and I think he actually came back fully invested as a full character now. Like, he kind of... He's, he, it wasn't like an appearance. Like, yeah. you know, it wasn't an appearance this yeah, it's weekend. It's not like a one-off. He yeah. actually, it wasn't a one-off. He actually really dedicated himself to becoming The Rock again. The character, yeah. The Rock, right? For and sure. he kind of reamped it. And, uh, you know, he had a little bit of different music uh, at the beginning, which was, I thought was really cool. But I, I just, you know what? I just think people are listening to this that really, um, obviously, The Rock is extremely, extremely successful. And everyone knows the story. He had $7 in his pocket at one time. And now he's worth probably... I don't know, close to a billion dollars, but it's because of his work ethic. And the way he looks physically is a perfect example of how hard this man has worked for 30, 40, you know, 45 years, yeah, whatever sure. it is. So I don't know. I just what wanted to start it for that. What do you think about what we're saying? Because we got we to gotta engage now, more people I want people to hear here. this. I want yeah, people, no, I know, I but I want to answer some, and I want, they're, they're chatting, so I'm trying to look over, and uh, at the same time, sorry, I'm, uh, there's a lot of things going on, but... Um, 
I, I want to also ask a few different questions about um, something that's like trending right now with like, you know, the biggest oh my God moment of the night, the, the best gear, the best entrance, the best match of the night, all those things. Um, but we want to hear your guys' opinions, obviously. Um, you hear ours about The Rock, and we think he is an absolute stud and uh, looked amazing and really put on an amazing performance. Absolutely. Um, but I guess being we're there, should we go with last night's main event, being it's like the most recent? You want to start, start the top, with, huh? That's what I, I mean. I feel like we should just because we're on The Rock anyway. All right. What I do mean, you guys think? Yeah, I would love to hear what people say about that, um, what their opinion of the match was. Uh, I would love to hear your opinion, baby, because you're obviously was very successful in the industry. Um, so I want you to start. What do you, what did you think of the main event? What was your what was your thought process watching it, and uh, how'd you feel at the end of it? I think the main event was really great. I love the pace that they had from the beginning. We both said that while we were watching it. Um, it was kind of a slower pace. That's more kind of my style. Um, there's so much story and history mm -hmm. within this match that I feel like that's the perfect place to have that kind of pace and um, flow of the match. I think we all know uh, the majority of people wanted to see Cody finish his story, and I'm very happy that he did. I think it's so well-deserved. Um, and I think just being like Cody Rhodes himself, the underdog, and kind of like where he's like evolved to and the, the the ebbs and flows and just like of the roller coaster that he's been on. I think it's just such an amazing journey. Um, and I think people were probably still a little bit shocked that, you know, he, he, uh, you know, took Roman off, um, uh, and he, you know, he, he got the title from Roman. I think, uh, what, how many days Roman's been, been a champion? They said it so many times. I don't know the exact days, but I mean, they, they, I don't know. <laughs> they said the last time he was pinned in a singles match was 2019. Yeah, it's wild. Um, absolutely. You right, know, someone says the match was five stars. They, God, this is hard to read because they go so fast. All right. Well, we have that. <laughs> I just want you to know I can read all of these for you. Oh, you can? Yeah, I'm, tu That's... I'm tuned in for you. So Okay. So ones that like pop up that you want to read, definitely. Just, um... just blurt in and just kind of read yeah, them out. Yeah, if it's okay. for sure. Because yep. I'm trying, but they're going fast. I know. I see. And... I'm like watching you. I'm like, <laughs> let me, let me go ahead. You focus on, uh, I got you. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I, I do think what you said. I think you're absolutely right. You know, I think. Um, well, get, I'll tip my hat off to. Uh, first of all, Roman's had an incredible run, regardless of it. You know, he lost the belt last night. But I will say also, Roman. I will tip my hat off to Roman. I thought Roman physically looked the best I ever saw him look. I agree. Um, you know, maybe he knew he was going to step in the ring with the Rock. Yeah. Uh, and Rock did announce, I think, two days before WrestleMania, that he was on the strict, strict, strict diet. And I think, you know, that's probably the only thing he really changed leading up to it. You know, his workouts. He probably always works out, you know, consistently every day. But um, the Roman Roman looked really good physically. I really, he did. I thought he looked really, really good. And I and I like what you said. I, I think their match was a great storytelling right it was kind of going back to like the roots of wrestling of telling a story um slow pace you could understand it i know some of these matches just you couldn't follow as much they were so fast so physical there wasn't time to digest there wasn't time to get behind a superstar i thought they did a really good job and um I would love to hear what people thought about the ending. I mean, what do you think? I mean, you had Undertaker, you had John Cena. Yeah, what about What do you these, think about that? What about all these surprises that we had? I mean, I was almost like I was getting really invested and excited and I feel like I haven't got excited like that watching a wrestling show in a while. I mean, <laughs> just being honest, but like I feel like the more um people were coming out it was like oh my god who's next and like i know i saw stone cold trending like people really wanted to see oh him. that would have been great been oh stone cold if he came out but i mean the undertaker that was awesome um john cena obviously i think it was really cool i also think it was like just enough of like what was going on because if it did go much longer it's like and then they got to get back to the match so it would have been a little bit like too long but i think they did a good job with that producing of Absolutely. like how many you know superstars ex superstars coming back and giving that wow moment and then Absolutely. going back to what was you know what was important so um don't worry i'm going to get to the bailey match uh the saint andre um because that was one of my faves not going to lie which one the bailey versus eo match oh, yeah. was definitely one of my faves um so i'm Listening to, I mean, I'm trying to uh, follow your guys' comments and questions and stuff as we um, have our episode of the Power Office podcast, and we are talking about the main event. So, um, yeah, I mean, what else? What do you think? What do you think next for Roman now? Oh, that's what do you a good think? one. That's that's a that's like a where do you question. go from here with Roman? Because I, I see. Um, 
you know, in this way, this business is, it, it, it's, it's amazing because if you said a year and a half ago, two years ago, that when Roman started this dominance, that Cody Rhodes was going to take the belt from him, I don't think anybody would, would agree with you, right. right? I mean, even before he left WWE, um, we went to AEW and kind of started that company with them and did a lot of great things. I, I don't remember him being a, like a main event caliber superstar. I mean, you were there as much. You were there more than I was at that level. Um, but you know, I think he really left WWE. I think it was almost a better thing for him to leave, yeah, I start agree. AEW, make a big name for himself. Comes from a legend of the game, obviously, in American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. But you know, it was almost amazing, and it was heartfelt to see a guy who's been in the business so long and been through so much. And to him to win that belt on WrestleMania against a guy who looked unbeatable the last four or five years, which right. is, I think is an incredible story for him. And I'm kind of excited to see where he goes from here. Same. Right? Me but too. I, Honestly, I, I don't have a good enough answer for that because it's really hard to say for, uh, I mean, it's either, I think, a couple different things. Maybe he takes a little hiatus. Maybe he goes mm -hmm. and, I don't know, does some other things. Who knows? Maybe he either they have a... I heard through the grapevine um, on social media, I saw something that they have an even crazier story that he's getting into. I don't know how true that is. Um, but yeah, I mean, you never know, but it's gonna be really interesting to, to see what's next. Um, so what was your like, oh my God moment of the WrestleMania and both days? My obviously. oh my God your, oh moment. oh my God moment. Huh. That's a great question. My oh my God moment. Um. I, I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> oh my God! Moment for me was Roman losing. Yeah, I know we're still in the main sure. event, but I, 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 I don't know. I just didn't see. You know, I know when Roman and The Rock won Saturday night, I felt like it maybe it was going to make sense, but I don't know. I just, I, I thought it still was Oh my God moment for me. I, I just didn't see Roman losing the belt after the reign he had and after the run he just had. I just didn't see it yet. I didn't yeah. see it. Maybe I'm not as not invested as some of the fans that, that love as much, you know, diehard fans. Um, but that was my oh my god moment. What was yours? So mine was and we're gonna get into this in a bit, Bailey versus EO. Um, and my oh my god moment was actually EO countering Bailey's um uh I just said it earlier. The Rose, uh, shit, what is it, guys? Tell me. Um, countering her move when she jumped out of it. That was fucking sick. Well, that was pretty cool. Remember when you were like, wait, you what, like, what you, was that? You like, wanted to rewind that. You like, rewind I know, that, rewind I was that, trying that, to rewind, rewind it. And sorry, Bailey, but I'm drawing a blank of that move, the na name of it. Think of the name. It, it'll move. come. Someone's going to Someone's going to write it for yeah, us. I literally just said it earlier. We were talking about it, and now I'm drawing a blank. I don't know. Um, yeah, CT, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, that was actually a really crazy moment. And now I want to get into Bailey versus EO because that was one of my favorite matches. And not because it was um, the women. I don't want to be biased. But I do think the story behind that and what Bailey has that carries a lot of the women's division in a good, really good way because she's so uplifting and she's so selfless mm -hmm. and she's really she's always like putting everyone else over. Like yep. I actually just saw her little clip that she did the after show thingy. And like, she didn't even talk about herself. She was like talking about how great Rhea Ripley it was. And I'm like, she just won the women's championship. It's like, she doesn't even want to talk about herself. She's just always putting everyone else over. She's just, just such an amazing person um, in and outside of the ring. So I will say that that was my favorite, not only because of that and what I, you know, my relationship with Bailey, but more of just the match itself. Like those two women are, were just incredible. And I think they had amazing chemistry and everything was just so crisp and so like spot on. And they really had me kind of like, oh, what's gonna happen next? And I just really loved it. And I, I thought it was really, uh, and I think Bailey really deserves her flowers. I mean, I think um, those are two incredible, incredible um, performers, workers, mm -hmm. as they would say in the business. Both of them as you know, diehard, lifelong fans who wrestled for a very, very, very long time, and I think it showed. You know, I think when you see two people um, create a magic like that, and you know, it, it's chemistry. It's it, it's hard to get two superstars on the same level, physically, mentally, uh, creatively, uh, experience-wise, mm -hmm. right? You yep. know, so you look at people like that. I mean, th between the both of them, it's probably thirty years, forty years, thirty years yeah. of experience of wrestling, if not more. So. That was an incredible match, and um, it, humble, so nice, and yeah. uh, I was happy to see yes. her win the championship. Um, so that was that was special, and Definitely. Uh, it was uh, exciting to watch. So, 
So, it was for sure. Uh, you know, I've never been, a, I'm not more of a, I don't really uh, like to criticize or uh, be negative on any matches, but we have to talk about some matches that maybe you weren't that impressed with. Uh, and I'm going to ask you first, what, what match kind of jumped out at you that you maybe just didn't like for the storyline or didn't really make much sense or wasn't uh, something you thought it would be? Um, I would have to say the six man tag, um, yeah, I agree. I just, it was, it was more, um, in the second night, six man tag, um, it was just more like following You're talking it. about the street profits and, Bo street and Bobby profits Lashley and, and, yeah, and um, and, uh, yeah okay. AOP and, um, I just feel like there was just so much going on that like for me to follow, I was just like, whoa. And then like the girls being out there and I just feel like the girls took a, a crazy bump for like, I don't know. I just feel like the, the cameras weren't even like over there and I just feel like it was a waste of a table bump to be honest. I mean, just my preference of like being a wrestler and taking those bumps. I'm just... I don't know. I think if it's not like really that crazy important, like why do that? But um, it just wasn't a huge, I just wasn't one of my faves. I wouldn't say really nothing's that bad. I mean, obviously the, the table broke. We saw that. But listen, I, I have a, I have a love hate relationship with tables. So <laughs> you couldn't get the table uh, yeah. up. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really one to, I'm not going to sit here and preach about like tables and that happening because first of all, that stuff happens all the time. And I couldn't get a table up at WrestleMania. I mean, yeah, no SummerSlam. So um, yeah. But, um, yeah, it just wasn't my fave. I don't really have much negative to talk about it. I just feel like it just wasn't my fave. Yeah. I, I uh, You know, it's funny that uh, I'm actually uh, – I, I personally were friends with a couple of those guys in that match. Yeah, and um, I like all of them too. So yeah, I, I like all of them. I, I like I like Montez. <laughs> I like, uh, you know, Angelo Dawkins. I like, you know, I like them all. Sonny, AOP. Sonny, you know, yeah. the AOP. I love them all. Um I, I I do agree a little bit with you. I think the match was so fast that like you can't really follow it. It, it you really know what's going on. But again, it, it was if you actually it was a street fight, right? It wasn't yeah, like yeah, you're right. So then yeah. maybe you know that's that, that's kind of the thing that that's kind of maybe the concept they were going for. But you know, listen, it, it's a tremendous thing to even have a match at WrestleMania. So I think every match is an incredible opportunity, an incredible match. So sure. they all did an incredible job. Obviously, you're gonna like more matches than others. Um, you know, I yeah. thought I, I did think. Uh, that match was just a little chaotic for me mm -hmm. to watch it and follow it. Yeah. Um, but um, maybe I that's think, what they were going for. I think kind of like both, like what I said earlier, like from what we've done in the ring, it's like we like that like slower pace in the beginning, really tell a story and then kind of like, I don't know, but I mean, I've been in like street fight matches and they are kind of chaotic. Yeah, But of I course. feel like when you add that many people into it, it just becomes like, there's just a lot going on. I, I really liked uh, Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. I and, loved that uh, too. Logan the, Paul. Yep, yep. Um, yep, I really, I really honestly, did like that match. I mean, Randy's so good. I mean, Kevin yeah. Owens is so good. And you know what? Logan Paul has done an incredible job. Um, for the short time he's wrestled, it's actually very impressive to watch him in the ring. Um, what a what a successful, smart, athletic um, businessman. I mean, he's got his prime right in the middle of the ring now. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I'll be honest with you, I, I've actually, I was very, very impressed how good he was in the ring. But, you know, being with probably the best worker in the ring, which is Randy Orton, um, you know, doesn't hurt. And then Kevin Owens is unbelievable, man. Kevin yeah, Owens is just... he's had an amazing career. Kevin Owens is just uh, a guy uh, that when I personally first met him, um, I didn't ever think he would be the superstar that he is today and what he's accomplished. So uh, it's fun to watch him be so successful. And he does such a good job of playing his character and putting these matches together. And I think, I actually think that match was very, very good for so many moving parts. People don't realize how many moving parts there are in a, in a, in a three-way match. And I think uh, Kevin Owens, Randy Orton did such a tremendous job of getting Logan Paul to look so good. I 100% agree. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt, but Rose Plant. Thank you, whoever just Rose said that Plant to me. I Bailey. should know. Rose, hello. Come on, babe. But, you know, kiss by the rose. All that. <laughs> um, rose Plant, thank you for, um, I had a brain fart. But, yeah, that's what my oh, my God moment, going back to that. Oh, my God moment of, of WrestleMania night two was EO countering Bailey's Rose Plant because I thought that was sick. I thought it was like, whoa. I had to, like, I told him. I was like, I wanted to. Um, but I know Bailey, and I know she's always pulling out tricks that you've never seen before which is why i love her matches because oh. they're all different and she's like they she's just so passionate about everything she does that it just makes everything so much better 
Um, hello, everyone on my live. Um, getting back to you guys. I know we're, we're filming an actual episode of our Power Alphas podcast, which you can watch every Monday. We drop a new episode on YouTube. So make sure you guys like and subscribe. Um, also, we are on a live stream on IG, obviously, and TikTok as well. Hello, everyone over at TikTok. TikTok. This is my first live stream on TikTok, by the way. I so like it. I don't know uh, what's going on over there. How's yeah, make it sure you uh, check out the YouTube channel because we're growing every day and uh, we're excited to go on this journey with you guys. Um, Should we ask um, answer some questions? Yeah, let's here? ask answer a question. If we can yeah. read them, they go by so fast. I know they do. Um, I just had one and it went too quick. But Ben, if you have any that pop up and you want to share, because I want to engage a little bit with uh, our fellow peeps over here. Uh, yeah, a lot of people were asking about. <clears throat> Uh, your the Undertaker, how yes. they how they thought about that. Um, Undertaker, Rhea versus Becky, feelings about okay. the match. What yep. are you feeling nope. about that match? That was also a really great match, actually. To to talk about that, um, I would say my favorite entrance of the night of either night was Rhea's entrance. Mm. Um, I thought it was really cool. She had the people that do her music, um, you know, obviously out there performing. Um, it was just. I don't know. Rhea is such a badass. I think she's an incredible talent. First day, you know, first day I met her, she's so athletically gifted, um, such a sweet person as well, which is um, really cool. And I thought that match was really good. I think also too very impressive. Becky is always impressing us, and she actually had um, like strep that week, and she had like a 102 fever apparently really? before the match. Yeah, or a couple days before. I don't know exactly the specifics. So kudos to her for putting on that match and how cold it was night one. Oh, her night one was freezing with the wind chill. It was cold for everyone to be performing. I was actually there earlier at the tailgoat, and I was freezing my butt off. And um, yeah, so that match was really good. Um, I think it was kind of cool that they opened up the show too, because I think um, the whole weekend really. Yeah, um, but the two of them opening the first night, I, you know, usually for the last years of when I was in WWE, it was always like a battle royal, which was fun because you got to see all the women. They didn't have that this year or the men, but it was cool for them to open um, the show because they're such big superstars and really um, kind of set the tone for the rest of the night, which I thought was awesome. Um, how about Awesome Truth winning titles? Oh, Truth. Oh, Truth my, is dude, so, so freaking good. funny. <laughs> he's did you so see the good. red carpet thing that he, he did? No, I, I did not. Guys, can we talk about this really quick? So, you guys probably seen it. They did the Slammy Awards uh, yesterday, or I think it was yesterday. It was on uh, when I saw the videos. And um, he sits it down, he stands on it, and they're like, Truth, it's not the Emmys or the Oscars, whatever they said. They're like, it's the Slammy Awards. And he's like, Oh, <laughs> like he's just so freaking funny. Dude, uh, Are you guys dying? How about how about when he was in the match and he asked for a tag of the tag yes, rope? I love that. <laughs> he he always does such a, like amazing. Thing. And then he came here like ran a comeback, like he was getting tagged in the match. But good for him winning his uh, winning a t oh, title. Um, they had that the first uh, first night. Yeah, they won it. Who uh, Austin Theory and Austin Theory and. and uh, Grayson Waller. Grayson Waller. Grayson Waller. Yeah. Grayson. He's a listen, man. They uh, those are both two young. Up and coming superstars, um, you know both those guys. Austin Theory uh, looks great, talks great. Uh, you know he, uh, I think he's got a bright future, man. He, I saw he had a little bit of beef on Instagram. Oh, with Joey Swole. With some Joey Swole guy. You know, I, you know, I know Joey. Oh, Swole. you know Joey Swole. I, to, I trained with him really? way back. Really? I have a picture with him. He's wow. huge. Like, but isn't he? But but I saw like a video. He's like really short legs or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, he's, he's shorter. Short. He's, um, um, yeah, yeah, no, I, day, I don't know if that was really was... big in social media when I was growing and it, we did like a collab of, of uh, working out and I went and I think it was Jersey and I met him and, and we did like, we did, we kind of filmed some workouts, whatever. He's, he's so jacked, but it was so funny when I saw that, I was like, Oh, are they trying to get Joey's full? Like to do a little guest? I didn't here? know if that was real or if that was fake, but, uh, they both kind of did their, um, counterparts on Instagram. And I thought it was pretty funny because they both kind of went back, back at each other about some videos. <laughs> Um, it was funny, but uh, you know, I think um, I, I like Austin. I've always like I, I was with uh, Austin Theory in NXT, and we first brought him in. And I remember he was so young, and he had so much talent. And I remember he was just—you could tell—he was kind of like green in a sense. I use the word green. He was just like young in a sense of like really didn't know the verbiage and promos. I remember one time he said a promo, <laughs> and I think he said like. You know, I, I'm like the top-notch steak of a, like a sirloin, and I pulled him aside. I'm like, listen, brother, if you're gonna say your top-notch steak, a sirloin is not the top-notch. You gotta, you gotta go with like a fillet or, or like, just not know yeah, or like a bone-in. But yeah. the point I was I saying, know. he's just he was just like young at the time. Yeah. But um, 
No, he's. Uh, I'm happy for both them. Obviously, they both got a belt, and I think it's always fun to watch them. They're very entertaining. Uh, I think they got a very bright future, obviously. And uh, for sure, I do you too. Know. Ben, you have a question? Yeah, Willie. Willie had a good question. Willie, uh, Willie, Willie, Willie. With multiple championships switching hands, who will have a great storyline, and which new championship storyline is going to be difficult? Wow, oh. great question. That's, That's a good, good question, question, right? Willie, That's a great Willie. question. Well, Willie, I think. Um, it's always nice to switch up the championships. You know, you don't want it to get stagnant. You don't want to, someone to be a champion for too long, which we've seen, obviously. <laughs> or too short, like too uh, short. Drew McIntyre. What was yeah. he, like three minutes he was champion for? Yeah, which I think he really deserved that. And I was kind of like, eh, kind of bummed. That, you know, but happy for Damian Priest, too, because I think he also um, has had a long journey in wrestling before WWE as well. Um, so I think that's kind of cool. And Judgment Day has been killing it. So they kind of deserve, deserve that as well. But I think Bailey is going to be an interesting one because we haven't seen her hold a championship in a while. And I think um, I think there's a lot of really talented up and coming women that um, she's going to she's going to play a really good role in being a champion because she's going to really help a lot of these other women. And I think, you know, the best matches are the ones that um, help help each other in a sense of like, you know, Bailey being so well um you know, well uh, experienced. She's only going to build other people up at I the same agree time. With that, yeah. So I think that's going to be really interesting to watch. Um, what about you? What do you think? Which I'm actually kind of curious to see what Damian Priest. Um, you know, I, that kind of again, I, I'm, yeah, I don't follow it every week anymore as much. You know, uh, but to see him kind of come out and cash out. But like you said, their group has been very hot and very relevant. And uh, you know, Finn Ballard is mega star in that group, and uh, been doing just a great job with those guys. I actually would like to see what he goes with. I mean, I, w I wouldn't be surprised if he loses it tonight to Drew on the Raw. On Raw. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, Honestly, like, yeah. I mean, I think Drew McIntyre comes out tonight. I think he cuts a promo. I think he challenges him for the belt. And I think he I think he takes it back. I mean, yeah, that's just my opinion. My, my prediction for tonight on Monday Night Raw <laughs> is that Drew wins that belt back. Well, that's guys, just my that's, prediction. That's another thing we want to get into. And we can wait a little bit until we get there. But also predictions on Monday Night Raw tonight because we all know it is the craziest, um, I think the, the, when it comes to ratings and, and viewership and all that stuff, like the Monday after WrestleMania is the biggest show of the year, they say, um, you know, TV show, I should say. Um, so that should be really interesting what happens. I'm really excited to see what happens. Um, so we can also get some predictions uh, coming from you guys as well. Um, I'm seeing a lot of, uh, Mandy versus Tiffany, which brings up an interesting um, little thing I wanted to shout out. I see a lot of Mandy versus Tiffany Stratton. Um, you know, people like to compare Tiffany Stratton um, to me and vice versa. I know she, she gets that a lot. And she just at, got asked in an interview this weekend of um, how she feels about those comparisons. And I thought it was really sweet. She um, said all nice things about me. And she said it's an honor to be um to be compared to someone that, you know, someone like me, which is cool. And I think I'm very honored as well. And I said, you know, I think I retweeted something and I was like, re real recognizes real. Cause I'm always about like putting other people over when, when, you know, they, they deserve it of course. And I think she's an incredible talent. I think she has a really bright future. And I always said that from, I remember her first match in NXT. I was really, really blown away cause the girl wasn't wrestling for that long. And I was like, damn, like she had, she, she knew what she was doing, which was, was really crazy. Cause at that time when I was in NXT, I, I don't know if I put on a match like that. So that's awesome. No, <laughs> you it, know, it, it takes time. We both know, you know, it's cool to see just the humbleness of her and, 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 you know, you said it is an honor, um, in both aspects, it is. but you know, it's just one of them things where people love to compare, right? Cause you know, you guys, I always got your strata. Yeah, yeah. The same kind of like look a little bit, mm -hmm. but, um, no, that's interesting. You there know, can that, only be one Mandy Rose, though, that, guys. Exactly, only one Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> and one Tiffany. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I, listen, uh, I actually enjoyed both nights of uh, watching WrestleMania. I think it's cool that you do two nights because there's a lot of things you want to get in and you don't want to, like, rush the process, right? Let everything digest. Um, what was your favorite um, night? Was it night one or night two? Mm. No, that's a good question because I don't really think I have a favorite night. I, I think I have a favorite match from each night. Um, yeah. You know, I, obviously, I really enjoyed the Rocks uh, Roman Reigns match at the main event. Actually, to be honest with you, both main events really intrigued me. Um, were really interesting, really entertaining. Um, I also really did like uh, Randy Orton, and um, like I told you before, I like it their match. 
Uh, nothing really. I will tell you this. <laughs> I thought Snoop Dogg was extremely entertaining. He was really funny. Someone he, just said something about when, him. When actually. he came on, Snoop Dogg was so entertaining. He's just such He's a good so thing. Funny. And you know what? A, a shout out. I want to give a shout out to Pat McAfee because mm. he he's so good at what he does. And the guy has been so successful the last couple of years with his new show on ESPN. He's done. He's so busy. He's done so much. He's so versatile. So for him to still come back and do two days of seven hour nights and in, in WrestleMania, and he really does make the show better. He's really entertaining. He's really good. He's really charismatic. Um, to see that, I think is really cool because he don't need to be there anymore. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah. got his own big show. He's, you know, making great money. He, I think he genuinely enjoys it. Though. He does, and he, he's good at it. He so. loves the business. So yeah. that was really cool, man. Shout out to Pat McAfee. I know, uh, you know, we we've exchanged uh, texts on DMs and stuff and Instagram. We've always have respect. We both played in the NFL, and I love to see guys who from the NFL trans, you know, kind of transformed from the NFL, which he had an incredible career, one of the mm -hmm. best punters in his generation, and now he's extremely successful in other avenues. So shout out to Pat. But, yeah, um, Pat's great. Those guys, it, it, you know, <clears throat> Corey Gray is so good. Just, those guys, people don't understand, like, how vital part they play in everything, in the oh match, God, so they, the way they talk in the match, the way they talk about the characters in the match. And that is, even when you know, like, you want them to talk a certain way to help you tell your story. Of course. They're, so they're such a huge They do such part. a tremendous That's job. That's I actually really loved when Cody afterwards, and obviously it was very sentimental and, and real, everything at the end of that main event was when Cody thanked like all the you know amazing people that helped him be where he is today. Yep. And also he went to uh, Michael Cole and Corey Graves and everyone on that commentary because you know everyone that is, is in that company knows how amazing and uh, all of them are, but how Michael Cole is really such an amazing asset to that company and has been for so many years. And and he's just really the best in that industry when it comes to Absolutely. it. And he trains a lot of the younger ones to be like him. And I think that's really cool because he, um, they deserve all the, you know, the, the WrestleMania weekend is crazy. I mean, guys, I was there. I went um, for WrestleCon and for the Tailgoat, um, Jimmy Seafood um, party on Saturday. And it was l so much fun. Um, you know, WrestleCon was amazing. I was so happy to meet all of uh, my incredible fans. Um, and, you know, the weekend alone is just, it's, it's a lot. Like, they, you know, start off with Friday Night SmackDown. Then you have NXT Stand and Deliver. Then you have Night 1 of WrestleMania. Then you have Night 2 of WrestleMania. Um, then Monday Night Raw tonight. So, like, you don't stop. And then also, obviously, all the appearances and everything else that's involved. So it is a very, like, um, crazy time. And also, I don't think everyone you know, gets the respect, like, behind the scenes, what goes into it, like, because the production... No, alone, absolutely. You can't, you can't beat that production. It's insane. I mean, it's their Super My Bowl. My prediction it's, is Mandy Returns. It's their Super Bowl, right? It's, it's you know, I, I, I had the privilege... Yeah. I never wrestled in WrestleMania, but I had the privilege to go to, what, four or five of them? Um, and it was just so cool to see... Be backstage, be by the rice. I used to sneak out by the ring, actually. I remember watching like Randy Orton and Sheamus. I remember watching, you know, Brock. And I was so close to the ring learning when I was young, up and coming in, in, in the industry. But um, it, it's just a privilege to be around uh, that whole atmosphere and to see, like you said, how much behind the scenes goes into it. And yeah, you're right. I mean, there's so much. It, and, and, you know, I, I watched a clip. Um, I think it's coming out this week of like behind the scenes of Triple H. Oh yeah, behind the, the curtain, right? Yeah, it's behind the curtain. And I, like I, and that. I saw Triple H said that 80% of the card for WrestleMania was done like in October of last yeah. year. So that just shows how much work, commitment, um, you know, dedication goes into Wrestle like WrestleMania. Like I said, is their Super Bowl. So they kind of peak right in WrestleMania. Now they said tonight that you you mentioned that Raw is one of the most watch raw because it's almost like a, start a, of a new, new season, era. a new era. Yeah, yeah. Exactly it's right. Like the start of a new era it's with like, new champions. Yeah. And so, then they, they say they plan. Well, they, I know they do. Like the next WrestleMania, like today starts what's going to be 100%. For the rest like you of said, the, the year. October yeah. of last year, 80% of the card was done. So yeah. you got to think 20% of the card was done between November, December, January, February, March. So that's five months, just 20% was, was covered up. So, you know, it's. um. It, it's it's a lot of things go into it, a lot of moving parts, and uh, it it looked exciting. You know, the stadium was packed, and um, it it was it was fun to watch. It was definitely something for me. I I really enjoyed um, watching it this weekend. For sure, and you know, um, my fans are so amazing, and you know, I've gotten really amazing gifts in the past. And um, did I tell you my gifts that I got this weekend? No, I didn't get. I didn't hear no uh, gifts. Well, it, it might be the Cartier bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> but no. there was a few different ones. Um, one being a fresh mozzarella, 
which was really interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, not as good as my dad's mozzarella though. I didn't uh, eat it. He like he was kind of uh, he like was trying to say that it, it's the best mozzarella ever. And definitely I was like, not the best. Because your like, dad you came, makes the yeah. best. I was like, you came to me knowing that my dad has the best fresh mozzarella, and you actually are telling me that this is the best mozzarella. Ballsy. I was actually about to Facetime my dad. That was ballsy. Like, <laughs> it was very ballsy. <laughs> it was ballsy. It was ballsy, and I was like, okay. And then the other two were really interesting. Um, a pecan pie. Pecan pie. <laughs> was one of them. Unbelievable. And this last one was, oh my gosh, I'm so grateful for this fan. Cause like I would have never, you know, how do I, how do I, how do I top this? Like, how does a fan top this? You know, you want to know what it was? I'm nervous. <laughs> a zucchini. <laughs> Why would he bring you a zucchini? I have a picture of my gift, and it was a fresh mozzarella, a pecan pie, and a freaking zucchini. But what did he say when he gave you a zucchini? You want to know what he said, actually? No, I don't, actually. No, it's, it's not gross. Is uh, it you would not think it PG? Might, is there... No, it's it's fine. He was like, what did he say? He's like, and here, he had the pecan pie, it was the same person, and then he's like, and here is a fresh zucchini uh, in case of an emergency. And I was like... Case of emergency. Case of an emergency. So I don't know if there's some I, weird. I'm thing gonna pretend. That. I'm gonna pretend. <laughs> you should have seen everyone's that, faces at that my table. That is uh, a, a zucchini, right? That's a little weird. Hey, you so, never know when you're gonna have to grill it up. And, yeah. you know. <laughs> I, I was like, okay, there. thanks. I'm gonna go. Stick I'm gonna. This up I'm gonna leave ass. that one alone. I think that's what he was trying to imply. Definitely. That's a sad that's thing. I know. Yeah. Emergency for what? Yeah, like what? if I'm not around. <laughs> If I'm not around, that's crazy. Oh God, it's getting really weird. Um, um, yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know my um, my gifts this weekend. They were really interesting. Um, besides that, I had a great two think, days at WrestleCon. I had an amazing tail goat. That was a lot of fun. Uh, what were you gonna say? I think uh, you're about to go down a path you don't want to go. I think now all your fans <laughs> oh, are gonna gosh. now they're gonna be a it. challenge. <laughs> Who could bring the craziest gift to Mandy in the next appearance? Don't even say it. I, I can't know. wait. I even thought that I the can't last wait till someone shows up with a table. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Mandy, put this table together. Oh, Mandy Rose man. versus the table. Um, let's see uh, what other questions we got. Uh, Do you guys want to jump into some predictions for tonight? Monday Night Raw, we all heard Savvy's prediction. Yep. He thinks Drew is going to challenge Damian Priest take the belt for back. a championship match, and he's going to take it back. My um, opinion. That's Savvy's opinion. And um, I have no prediction on Roman. I have no, goat. I have no idea what Roman's gonna do. I Lisa, really don't. what's up, Lisa? Sorry, Lisa's my girl. Lisa. Lisa's amazing. She's been a really huge Demandius fan for a long time, so she was just there. Um, what's up, Joshua? Um, so you could just re you could just say a bunch of names real quick. Just say hi to. Just I know everyone's saying hi. I'm like, hey, Jared. <laughs> um, Thank you guys for joining. If you don't already, please like and subscribe our YouTube. Um, we drop new episodes every Monday. Um, definitely let us know in the comments what you want to see more questions. We'd love to answer. Also, email your questions to poweralphaspodcast at gmail.com. Um, we'd love to answer those. And um, I like you a lot, Mandy Rose. Your WWE NXT friends are no longer with you. I know, but I got to see them this Oh, yeah, weekend. how was it? It was great. Reunited and, and it feels so good. good. It was really <laughs> great. Those are my girls. I was also reunited with Sonia Deville, a.k.a. Daria. And that was a lot of fun. Um, I reunited with Daria. I reunited with JC, um, Indy, Roxy, Cora. That's awesome. All the girls. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, I was really busy, so I didn't really get to like hang too long, but, um, we, we hung out. I had my videographer, Joseph with me, who was amazing. And we got some really good footage, which stay tuned. Cause we're gonna have a lot of behind the scenes, short form and long form content on, uh, only fans TV. Nice. So make sure you guys check that out as well as, um, sporadically on YouTube and whatnot. Um, so yeah, what do we have? Some, pr pr some predictions coming in, uh. Well, I have a question. What's your question? What is The Rock's future now? Mm. There's a question. That's I want to know. That's a great question. Do people think he's kind of done now because WrestleMania is over? Does he get in a storyline? Does he make cameos? Just cameos? Does he? Because I don't know. I, I, You know what? Looking at him, and I know he's you know part of the board now. He's uh, He's the man. Uh, which is amazing. Again, shout out to the work ethic. Shout out to the commitment. The guy had seven dollars in his pocket. Now he owns part of WWE, which is unbelievable. But where, where, where do you see him? Does he stay in a, a storyline? Does he not? So he did mention in the press conference that he felt so 
excited and, you know, honored and grateful that he was a part of this, but more than just the cameo aspect, like of what you're saying, of what we've seen before. So he did mention that it was so much fun to be more involved in it rather than just making a little appearance. And it really, um, you know, it was just, it was really, it was just a lot of fun for him. So I think my opinion, I think he's going to kind of st stay around. I don't know. I feel like, I mean, I don't, I don't know. There's so much going on with the bloodline and there's so much involved there that I just feel like he could easily be in a storyline with any of them or like one turns on one. And I don't know. Something happens and he's still involved. But then again, I don't know. It's kind of like one of those things where it's hard to say. He's I'm such curious. a mega star that it's like, does he take away from other people sometimes, though? He's yeah, so... but he was booed out the arena a couple of times. I mean, you know, True. they really wanted Cody Crybabies, right? They, they wanted Cody oh, no. to finish his story, and he Definitely. did. Which is, uh, you know, which is, I guess, you know, the fans always win, right? Um, I think there's like a little delay on here because like they're like a zucchini. <laughs> they're all talking. Zucchini. And I'm like, yeah, we're uh, now not, not talking about delay. the other is about the zucchini. Yeah, I don't know. I think it can go several different ways, but actually very interested to see where that goes. Mm -hmm. um, and I think there's a lot of other women that we um, are going to be seeing, like maybe the start of tonight that maybe didn't get their opportunities are uh, at WrestleMania. Like I said, they've always done a battle royal at WrestleMania. I've been in a few of those, and they didn't do one this year. So I think there's a lot of women to be showcased um, on both Monday Night Raw and SmackDown. So I'm you know, excited to see all that. Um, Absolutely. Yes. So what else we got here? Some questions or comments. Um, Cody finishing a story, yes. Where is so like what is what's next for Cody? That was such a high moment, you know. Do like, they does he go back and forth with Roman now? Though? I mean, does Roman come out tonight and uh, you know challenge him again? I mean, is it's it's I like, think now it kind of gets intriguing, right? Yeah, kind of gets exciting. It does for sure, but it's like I don't know. Was that like finish the story? Like point period blank? Like are they done? Or finish his story specifically. I don't. I don't know if I could see a guy who held the belt for like fourteen hundred days. Or what was it? Thirteen thousand, thirteen hundred, some change, just to get, lose once and walk away. Mm, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I don't know if I could see that. Um, yeah. But you know that being said, you know who knows, and uh, that's why you got to watch tonight. <laughs> yes, you got to tune in. Um, Liv Morgan is going to challenge Rhea. Oh, I like the sound of that. Ooh, that's a. Is that a that's, prediction? That's a prediction. I love it. That's my girl, Liv. I think she truly deserves that if that's the case. Um, that's exciting. I saw a Cena versus The Rock. Oh, you saw Cena versus The Rock? That's Someone's, interesting. Actually, Cena. that could be very entertaining. Well, they had their moment when it yeah, faced off in the moment. moment. Yeah, I, I yeah. that could be entertaining. We also haven't talked about um, the debut of Jade Cargill. Cargill? Did I say her name? Cargill. Um, and obviously Bianca Belair and Naomi. Um, versus damage control. That was that was a great match. That was night one. I feel like it feels like forever ago, or it's only two days ago. <laughs> but um, that was a really great match. She's, you know, she looks. She's another one that just like comes out and she just has an amazing presence. She looks like a million bucks. Um, she did she did do a great job. Obviously, it was her first kind of like showcase, and what a cool debut to be debuting like on WrestleMania. I think that's really cool. I think the three of them really. Um, you know, were were amazing, and their entrance alone was was so cool. And I I know they were super happy to have this moment with the three of them together. Um, so I think that was that was really cool. And she's somebody on her. She yeah, had, I mean, it's just three. To be honest with you, all three of those women are extremely successful, hardworking, yeah. dedicated to their craft. I mean, Bianca and and her. I mean, their bodies are unbelievable. Like I said, you don't you don't just wake up looking like that. That's no. just a lot of dedication, sacrifice, commitment, consistency. So I always admire that, and I wish them nothing but the best. And I think they, you know, obviously Bianca's a mega star, and uh, yeah. I think she's on her way as well. It was cool to see that group because the group just looked very strong together. Mm -hmm. you very know, strong. Very strong, dynamic, powerful. So yeah, um, yeah, shout out. And then you know, uh, one of the surprises for me was to see Stephanie McMahon come out at the beginning, mm. and uh, obviously she's supporting her husband, um, and she said it. You know, the first kind of WrestleMania in the era of Paul. Triple H, which, uh, you know, it's good to see her supporting um, her husband because I know, I don't know how, how uh, you know, good the rumors are, but there was rumors that she was upset how it was handled with her dad and, 
you know, selling the company. So mm-hmm. uh, it was cool to see her come out. Um, I'm glad that she supports and, uh, you know, because her dad, you know, her dad built this industry. Her, her grandpa really built this industry. Her dad took it over and, and brought it to new heights. Yeah, well, like she said, she's well. been going, you know, to ever WrestleMania since she was a kid, too. So that this was awesome. that was really cool to see. Yeah, so. Um, and I think people are really impressed and uh, happy with this Triple H era. So we're uh, interested to see where it's going to go. And um, so far, everyone is pretty impressed. Um, do you think The Rock will return to Hollywood? Oh, it went too fast. Damn, I wish it didn't go so fast. Return to Hollywood? I'm trying to see the one that you were looking Sorry, at. Guys, no. this is so hard. The con- the questions go too fast. Um, well, the question Rock was Rock versus Ro- Roman versus Cena versus Taker. It's also hard to read from this far away. Like, do I need glasses? Yeah, I don't think Taker's coming back for a match. I I, I don't think I, I don't think, think Taker's so done with that aspect. I think he's like the cameo like he was last night. A little you know, a little choke slam here, a little choke slam there. He's you know, obviously mega star. You know, changed the, the changed the company forever um hall of famer so it was just awesome to see him i don't i don't see him wrestling but i could see cena i could see cena rock i could, I see, could a see Cena that rock too. i could see for that for sure too. i could see a cena rock. what's up joey from 24 hour fitness i mean cena cena needs to get a tan <laughs> but you know whatever no shot <laughs> joey from 24 hour fitness just said hello oh joey what's up dog <laughs> that's up in uh in new york um, um do you go to the gym do you go to the gym yeah, so, sometimes <laughs> I don't know. He just he just woke up like this, I guess. Yeah. Cody yeah. Rhodes versus Solo Sequoia. Sequoia. Yeah. Um, nah. No. 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 Well, Too early. Could... Too early. Too early. Okay. He ain't well. ready for that. Well, he's part of the bloodline. Yeah, so he ain't cool. ready for that. Okay, he ain't ready that for that. You got um, your people in Brazil, India. They all want oh, you to say India hello. Oh, India loves Mandy Rose. Hello, loves everyone, Mandy to Rose. India and Brazil. I have to do an appearance out in India. I get so many requests about India. I like need to go well, out know, to it's India. Like the second largest world, second largest country in the world. You know that, right? Yeah, it's huge. But I, I get a, a I lot of my fans. Them in China, it's like from India. Shout out to India and Brazil. Um, thank you guys all for joining this. I know it's our first time going live, so I was trying to do a few different things at the same time. Um, also, to catch this full episode, it will be dropped on our tonight. YouTube channel YouTube. tonight. Um, every Monday, Power Alphas podcast on YouTube. We are also on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Um, obviously, like I said, like and subscribe. Please, sh- you know, let us know in your in the comment section what you want to hear more of or what guests you might want to have. You know, have us have. I can't talk on the podcast. You know, have yeah on the podcast. You know what I mean. Um, and um, right. yeah, I, think I it was hope a good you guys one. enjoyed this live feed. Um, we're excited to see what's going to happen tonight on Monday Night Raw. Yeah, everyone want to watch. And remember, yes. guys, questions. We love to hear questions. We, we love to, you know, our whole goal on this podcast is the relatability of it. And that's why, you know, I was so adamant talking about The Rock at the beginning because The Rock is, is, is a prime example of a man who's just so consistent, so hardworking, and so dedicated to his craft and who he is. And, you know, when he, the way he looks physically just blew my mind. It, re- it really did. I mean, just yeah, because he insane. it's just, I mean, it's just unbelievable. Yeah, so, for sure. Thank you for guys listening. Um, and, yes. uh, you know, we got a lot more guests coming. Um, we have exciting guests coming in the next couple of weeks. So uh, stay tuned. Yes, thank you guys. And um, we will see you all soon.